We are afraid of what we don't know, and the ocean has plenty of mystery. We can listen to various sounds in water thanks to a hydrophone. Sound travels 4.3 times faster in water than in air and has 60 times more pressure. During Cold War, USA developed a Sosus hydrophones which were used to track Soviet submarines. It worked by mounting a hydrophones to the bottom of the ocean. These hydrophones were connected with cables which delivered data. Some of the mysterious sounds in ocean were detected by these hydrophones. In recent times military allowed civilian scientists to use SOSUS system. This upsweep sound was recorded in 1991, and it is still heard today. It gets louder during autumn and spring, but each year the sound volume has been declining. But it still is loud enough to be picked up throughout the whole Pacific Ocean. Scientists believe that this is a sound of a underwater volcanic activity. Another strange sound is called whistle. The location of the sound is unknown and the source is somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. It is also believed that the main culprit is a line of active volcanoes. This one personally is one of the more intriguing ones. In 1997, a large bloop Sound was heard for more than 5000 kilometers or 3100 miles. Keep in mind that the sound travels better underwater. In air, you would need way more powerful impact to create such a powerful sound. Anyway, let's listen. It also is two times louder than the loudest animal blue whale, according to Dr. Christopher Fox. But then I am uh, also confused. Isn't the sperm whale the loudest whale? Blue whale is around 188 decibels underwater, and sperm whale is like 230. Mr. Christopher Fox, explain yourself. Julia was given a nickname to one of the weirdest and most powerful underwater sounds. It was loud enough to be heard over the entire SOSUS hydrophone systems. And this sound was rumbling for almost 3 minutes. It is highly likely that this sound was caused by a massive shift of large iceberg. You have to realize how massive some of these shifts are when you understand that this moving thing is as big as the city of Manhattan. These two sounds are also icebergs. They may have been a grounded icebergs, which means that they are big enough to reach bottom of the ocean. The iceberg slowly moved and scraped floor which made all those noises. Anyway, ocean also has various other strange sounds which are not really that mysterious. But they sure can give you heebie-jeebies. I am correct, right Mr. Lin? For more than 50 years, these strange robotic sounds were confusing naval officers and marine researchers. You see, in water it is extremely difficult to locate the origin of the sound. The strange Boeing sound first appeared on submarine recordings in the 1950s. 
Today we know which whale makes the sound. It's mink whale. But there is a whale which we even, till this day, seem to be unable to figure out. We can distinguish whale species by their sound frequency. Apparently, there is a whale which talks in 52 Hz frequency calls. This whale has never been sighted and can only be heard through our hydrophones. Why do I keep saying whale, but not whales? Well, according to scientists, this whale can only be heard from a single location, so there is only one of its kind. Well, at least it was thought that way before 2010. A sensor have picked up additional specimen with the same call, so this makes it even more weird, since before that, scientists believed that this individual was either a malformed whale or some sort of a hybrid whale. So the chance of two similar whales is even more weird. As of 2014, the whale has been detected every year since. So it's lurking somewhere deep. Another whale sound is not even remotely mysterious, but just plain creepy. A beluga whale was captured in 1977 and lived in captivity for the rest of its life. Researchers discovered his unusual ability to mimic the rhythm and tone of human speech. A diver working in the enclosure came to the surface after he heard someone cry out, out, out. After he asked his colleagues who told me to get out, they realized it had been beluga whale. This eerily reminds me of those monsters in movies which mimic human voices to prey on us. Also, did you know that some fish can communicate underwater? This means they also have ears. This is Garibaldi fish, which makes this noise by grinding teeth out of anger. And this is the sound of a male weak fish, which uses its bladder to make a sound. A sound which is used to flirt with female weak fish. Now this fish is called black drum, and it is pretty big, it can reach over 100 pounds or 45 kilograms, and it produces a very loud low frequency sound which range from about 60 to 1100 hertz. They will seriously vibrate anything they're laying on, and even the boat if they're underneath you. Come on. There it goes. Some Florida residents reported of hearing black drums. This is possible because the low frequencies of those calls are able to travel through the ground. And after traveling through the ground, it goes into the walls and floors of the home. So they literally vibrate the walls of homes that are near water canals. Listen to this. This sound was recorded at the deepest part of the ocean, the Mariana Trench. For those who don't know, this sound was recorded at a depth of 10.9 kilometers or 6.7 miles. Scientists determined that this is actually a call of whale, but they are not sure which particular whale it was. Also, this sound probably didn't come from that depth. But since sound travels great distances underwater, it uh, quite possibly came from above. In 2016, fishermen at northern part of Canada reported of hearing loud ping sounds from sea.
Nobody seems to know where the sound comes from, but the theory is that it may have been a submarine. And this ping was actually a very loud sonar, but about that in the next video. This is the sound of lightning striking the ocean in the Gulf of Mexico. By the way, it is exceptionally difficult to catch such sounds since only few lightning strikes hit one square kilometer per year. We actually have a sound of a monster, which destroyed over 220,000 people. You may wonder, there is no such thing as monsters. You are right, but when 2004 earthquake happened in Indonesia, it created one of the most devastating tsunamis in the world. And we have recorded the sound of that earthquake. It's kind of weird that only 5% of the ocean has been explored by humans. Oceans contain 94% of the world's wildlife, so it wouldn't be too crazy if there was something really strange lurking in the deep corners of the unknown. Hmm, maybe people with thalassophobia are not too crazy.